Good morning. All right, today is a moving day. It's not even quite nine o'clock yet, and time to get moving. It's, yeah, it's getting really hot. So time to move up to higher elevations near Flagstaff. So moving to Flagstaff today, so gotta hook up the, hook up my tiny home and head on out. So I'm gonna show you how I hook up. <laughs> All right, so first off, you wanna remove your hitch lock. I bought a really nice hitch lock to protect my trailer when I'm not here, and I suggest you do the same. Next, you're gonna wanna remove the wheel chocks so that you can move your camper. And next, just simply uh, pick up your camper and pull it over and hook it up to your car. It's really just that simple. And after you've hooked up to the car, uh, make sure to put the lock uh, on the little hitch handle so that that, that doesn't pop up. And then you're gonna wanna hook up your safety chains. And I have this little wheel that uh, flips back up again, so I'm gonna flip up the wheel. Yeah. And then you plug it in. That's all, it's pretty simple. Yeah. And then the very final thing is to double check your lights and make sure that they're working. And then to do a final walk around of your camper and make sure nothing's a mess, make sure your door's locked. Um, you know, just give it a once over. So, it all looks good, it's all hooked up. It's really that easy. When I first got my camper, I was so worried about towing and hooking things up and I thought, oh, just one mistake and it's catastrophe. That's not the case. It's really easy to hook up your camper and you can do it too. I'm gonna miss this little camp spot. It's really nice. All right, let's get on the road. We're heading up to Flagstaff at 7,000 feet to cool off because, yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> All right, let's go.
right. All right, so here we are at our new camp spot. Oh my gosh, it's, it's a little bit warm, but there's this major kind of, well, not a major windstorm, just a regular windstorm. And it's kicking up so much dust. I have dust in my eyes and my mouth. It's all gritty, yuck. But, all right, this is, uh, this is the camp spot for a cup for three, four days. We are right outside of Walnut Canyon uh, on the east side of Flagstaff. So it's pretty beautiful here. It's really nice. Lots of boondocking spots out here. Uh, yeah, I guess I better get unhooked, huh? <laughs> so when I get to a spot and I'm going to unhook, the first thing I do is kind of eyeball it to see if it's level. Uh, I really just need to make sure it's level this way because on the other axis uh, I can raise and lower the tongue to level it that way. So I just need to make sure it's level this way and I just eyeball it. That works for me. If it's just a little bit unlevel like on the driver's side um, if it's just a little bit, that's not a big deal for me because uh, I actually sleep with my head right here. So as long as my head is just a little bit higher than my feet, that's good. If my feet are higher than my head, then I get a headache. And that is a terrible way to wake up in the morning. Really terrible. So I'm just going to make sure that uh, it looks good. And actually it really does. I already looked at it. And so we're looking good. Let's uh, chalk the wheels and uh, unhook her. <laughs> and now to unhook, I just simply reverse the process that I went through earlier today. So I've checked that my wheels are chalked. That's the most important thing. And then I simply unplug it, undo the safety chains. Yeah. Put down the front wheel, unlock it and unlatch it, and then simply just lift up the trailer off the hitch, and you're all unhooked. And now to secure my trailer, I'm going to put my hitch lock on and I bought one of the better hitch locks I could. This is a really good one. I like it. Yeah, so I have at least two locks holding it on and then if I want I can put, uh, I have a huge chain I can put around one of the wheels as well if I want to. Uh, actually, this is one of the questions I get very often is, how secure and safe do you feel when you're boondocking out on National Forest or BLM land? And actually I feel much safer being out here both with my property and myself than I do in some campgrounds. Uh, yeah, people out here are generally very respectful. I've never had any problems on National Forest or BLM land while boondocking. Um, yeah, I feel really secure and it's really beautiful when you're out in the middle of nowhere not listening to anyone else's generator or music or anything else. This is really where I prefer to be. So I'm going to get inside and put everything where it's supposed to be and uh, yeah, try to get out of this, this wind. It keeps blowing grit and stuff in my mouth and eyes. Ah, my eyes, they're just... They don't feel right. They don't feel right right now. 